What is going down, everyone? It's time for Mojo Break the Hype, episode number 190. Thank you guys for tuning in to us here. Breaks are at mojobreak.com. Sealed wax at mojobreakshop.com. We've got a nice show today. Lots of stuff to talk about. We're bringing back Guess That Price, and Cody is going to be competing with these two clowns to see who wins. I mean, <laughs> why are we even competing against Dan, dude? That's a good point. <laughs> I ask myself that all the time. <laughs> Is it a I don't compete against myself. I know <laughs> my money's on Cody. I, it was it was he was a long he shot. A wild card. He's a nine to one long shot on this one. So I, I put my money, my Doge money, into hey, to see speaking, if Cody can win. A hey, new guy mojo is definitely speaking possible. of wild card. It's hard to be Dan though. Yep. There's a product that came out called Wild Card Draft Picks Football. Cool. Is it uh, Matt Black? Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Is he in there? What company produces that? Wild Card. Wild Card. Wild yeah. Card. Um, but uh, we're also going to talk about Steph Curry today, as you can see. You know, we're Warrior fans. We're it, look, about it, his. Look, it looks good. It has thumbprint on it. Sorry, Doug. Sorry. I know it does look pretty cool. We're going to see what it looks yeah. like. But uh, We're going to talk Steph Curry today. Um, where does he rank in the hobby and his legend? And we're also going to talk about Dan's guy, Shohei Otani. He's going to have a uh, – it's just going to be so exciting for Dan right now. He may, he may not be able to contain himself. Um, we're going to talk about Wall Street trading cards. Some kind of weird concept that we I found Wall yesterday. Um, and we're also going to talk about what's hot in the shop at, at MojoBreakShop.com, which is you should go check it out. We have some fantastic prices on sealed wax at MojoBreakShop.com. Um, but we're going to kick it off talking about uh, a new release today. We got Contenders Basketball 2021. And this was a release for me personally that I, you know, when it first came on the scene, I was like, you know, basketball collectors are not going to appreciate the Contenders brand. But it's been quite the opposite. The cards look amazing. On-card autos. You have great inserts. C-Rad, I know it's been slowly one of your favorites behind Revolution. Tell us why you love Contenders. Uh, <clears throat> cracked ice. Always nice. <laughs> Plus, the, um, the premium additions to me are actually, they feel better, but they also look better to me than the, than the actual Contenders Optic standalone product, which is which is a nice product in itself because all the cards you get are chrome and shiny. But the premium editions still like uh, like it says they 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 feel they feel like they offer they feel like a little bit more premium than the Contenders Optic. Um always a great design like not a lot of different parallels of the premium editions, right. so it's not like they're trying to make a, a ton of those so that that includes to the rarity of them. Um, obviously, a lot more rare in 1718 when the when they first reintroduced contenders yep. basketball to the uh, to the hobby. But the cracked ice parallel, you can never go wrong. Um, and then the premium editions are, are nice looking cards, and it you know it's translated really well since they brought the product back back in 2017. And, and actually, they don't say optic on the premium ones anymore, which I like because I think there was a problem before of it of differentiating. If you had a contenders optic auto, or if you had a contenders regular, exactly, auto, right? exactly. From from the if you just look at it straight on, they do look very similar. But when you hold them in your hands, you can tell there's a difference in terms of the card stock um, because the back of the optic contenders are the same as the front, like the like the, they feel the same. But the back of the premium editions, um, well, I guess they're they're both the same, but there's a little difference of thickness. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and you could actually kind of we were we we're ta we're talking about today because it's so clean, it's just got a clear white bottom to the card. You can really see whose autograph sucks on these cards. Before, yeah. I think it was hidden by the sticker. You don't really can't really tell as much. Uh, but r here, me and Dan this morning, we're talking about how bad some of these guys' autos were in here. And uh, but that just kind of speaks to how beautiful the card design is. It's just yeah. the guys need to do their autos a little bit better. Um, but Dan, what did you think about the uh, contenders Sight. release? Just, I'm just here to talk about Shohei Otani. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I think so we should come get you when it's time for the yeah, Otani segment. Yeah, okay, yep. I get you. I get you. Uh, I'm gonna get my uh, Matt Harvey on. <laughs> I'm just uh, yeah, Matt Harvey Qualcomm. Just here to talk about Qualcomm. Um, <laughs> one thing I do want to talk about a little bit off topic, but it is in the basketball category. Mm -hmm. um, you know, these last two years of basketball with Zion, Morant, we've got Lamelo this year, we've got Edwards, we've got Wiseman. None of these guys are really in the playoffs. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I think you've seen some of the hobby boxes starting to trend downward on price, uh, which if you go on MojoBreakShop.com, we've got great deals on Crown Royale, just a little plug. And, and the new contenders is at a really fair price as well uh, compared to the market. But do you guys think that LaMelo going, moving on would have maybe helped those box prices not go down, or was it just it didn't matter anyway? I, I think that without a doubt, uh, LaMelo having – at least one full 
playoff series would have been helpful. Uh, it would have definitely been helpful for Wiseman to be playing tonight. Uh, it would have been helpful. I mean, you look at all the top rookies, like none of them are playing. Uh, the Celtics have a couple guys who are rookies who are playing. Um, they moved on, so they'll they'll have a at least a full playoff series. But I don't know, man. Like, I think I said it before. I'm not I'm not sold on this rookie class, and I think you have a lot of the collectors who are already looking into next year's rookie class. I know Conrad. I know you love you love Lamelo. You think he's a generational talent. Mm-hmm. Um, I think in five years, when we actually look at this rookie class, I I think he will be still the guy that we're going to be looking for and chasing. But it might only be one or two guys that we're looking for. And if you actually look at pre like all the rookie years, it kind of breaks down that way. Right. There's a lot of there's a lot of times where we're only looking for one player, two players. Very rarely there's like three, four, or five rookies that you're still chasing three to four years down the road. Well, I mean, we do. I mean, if you look at the the Eastern Conference, you, there is an interesting series when it comes to the rookies. It's the Knicks versus the Hawks um, because you do have the chance at, uh, you know, Obi Toppin, Emmanuel Quickly, and then the Hawks have Nguanku, which I don't know how many minutes he, he gets because I haven't really watched many Hawks games. But you're guaranteed that one of those teams is going to move on. Right. So it'd be interesting to follow the storyline. I think if the Knicks win and they catch fire and Toppin or I know Barrett's last year, but that could kind of level out boxes. Uh, do you guys think there's just not enough? And, I'll, and I guess I'll pose this question to C-Rad and also in the chat. Go ahead and, and chime in. Was the last two years of rookie class just too overly hyped? Is that what it is? It just wasn't generational players or were the prices just too high? Um, I'm leaning. I'm leaning towards. Back to the thing like of, of of prices coming down, and um, I think it's the result of the prices just being too high to begin with. Yeah. Um. That's that's the main thing. The main takeaway I would say from that. This year's, you know, generally speaking, most draft years, the top guys aren't playing in the playoffs, right? For the w- within the last. Well, I mean, you don't generally have a lottery pick. If you, have, if you have a great team already. Yeah, exactly. Um, the Warriors are the exception because yes. they had a good team. Everybody got hurt, had a really bad year, got a top three pick. Right. Yeah. yeah. So pretty much I don't think um, having having a rookie, like somebody like a Melo in the playoffs would help prices a little bit. But I think if you know if you love Lamelo, you're collecting Lamelo. You're you're gonna be doing that all year long with the the, the whatever products it is. Anyways, um, I think for me it, it really is. The, I think the prices were just too high to begin with for for a lot of these products, and that's why we're seeing them. Some of them come down now. Um, yeah, I almost feel like there's gonna be a guy that comes out of this that we're not talking about, like. It's just some some player that we pull the auto of, and it's like we don't even talk about him. But then next year, people are gonna be chasing. I, I feel like there's gonna somebody that's gonna come out of this, um, and it's not gonna be Lamelo. I mean, Lamelo I think will be solid. I think the Hornets need a lot of help. Uh, Edwards had that that dunk, you know, obviously. But the Timberwolves just are never good. It's just they they don't matter what pick the Timberwolves you mean have. Somebody who never is like good. not in a t- in the top ten. Like, yeah, like, like like you know like you know like obviously Donovan Mitchell came out like later that same rookie season, but he was what a late 20th pick, you know, something like of that quality that comes out next year and is get averaging 10 to 20 points a game that nobody had on their radar. I feel like this is that kind of rookie class that there's going to be somebody like, yeah, I mean, Giannis 13, 14, there was somebody there, He came out a couple years later that everybody <clears throat> wanted his cards. Um, I feel like there's going to be somebody yeah, f- that does that for me, especially like I talk about this all the time on stream as we're breaking these basketball, we're doing basketball breaks. Um, there's a lot of folks out there who do not who who are writing off this rookie class and it's I think it's really unfair just based on the 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 way that these rookies careers started, right? We were we're in a pandemic. They got no training camp. We didn't really they didn't get to play their yeah, March take. Madness at yep. all. Um they didn't have their usual everything that all these rookies usually get every single year. They they were not afforded the opportunity to do any of that. They were just Drafted a month later, you're playing in the NBA, True. like with grown men who have been playing like forever, right? And then usually 
most rookies hit a wall anyways. And I, I can just imagine it's been accelerated because of, you know, the pandemic and, and them just not being able to fully necessarily Develop, show what they're yeah. capable of either. So I, mean, I, I, I give them a big – I give a lot of these rookies a big pass this year. And this is not good this, point. This might not be the year where, like, these boxes are – I can see boxes going down even more, right? But – we we don't know like this 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 could be a good time to buy right now yeah and uh ron brings up the point that there's maybe there's too much product and i got a i got a question for dan to answer here um not only is there more product being made in the retail SKUs, but we also have the the hype behind f1 we have <clears> the hype behind ufc um and it's not like when those products came in there was uh more buyers that just all of a sudden jumped into it was a lot of the same hobbyists do you think those sports have kind of taken away from the basketball I, I, market? I, would, I think without a doubt. I think I actually think those, the UFCs and the Formula One and the golf and all that stuff has absolutely taken away. Because, look, not in this hobby, there's not an unlimited amount of money to right. go around, right? So if people start getting into F1 – they're going to take some of their – they may be selling some of their basketball cards or taking some of their money, resources that they use to buy basketball cards to buy F1 now. Right. Um, I think that's without a doubt is what we're seeing uh, because look at what some of the F1 cards go for. Look what some of the UFC cards are going for. Look at what the, the golf uh, – Artifacts Golf is going for out of the gate. They're getting a premium. So yeah. I think that's absolutely, and I think with basketball, you have seen so many products come out, and it's not out of the ordinary. We're, we're seeing pretty much the same releases that we saw last year, but with Formula One, it's easy. There's only two releases, so you can, you can really like pinpoint... I like the Chrome. I want to go for the Chrome. Right. I, I like the, the Dynasty. I want to get the Dynasty. UFC, the same thing. There's only one release. So there's only one product. Well, they're that coming you out can with select. Into. They are. They are. But like right now, there is only one product. So you can funnel all your money to that one product well, without even could, thinking about it. You could also say just, I mean, just think about like restaurants compared to restaurants. Like say a new restaurant pops up. You're going to go try it. You know, Somebody guys, from guys. A number calling you too? No. Oh. Um, but. Basically, like, you know, you, you say you're, you're eating a, at the same burger joint and you love it, just like you, you're buying into basketball breaks, but then there's, like, the new one that comes up and hops <laughs> around the corner. That's UFC. You're going to try All right, maybe I'm going to try my luck at UFC. Like, I can't, you know, I haven't been able to get something in the basketball or I don't like any of the rookies and, you know, or I've already done all 15 of these releases. I'm going to try out UFC, and I think you get some of that pull coming away from these boxes. Yeah. Um, Basketball's is like in and out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's like in and out burger, right? So you don't want to wait in that line. Um, it's really good, but you don't want to wait in that 30-minute line. All right, well, we're going to talk about the GOAT, our GOAT, our Bay Area GOAT here. He's going to be on the center stage tonight against LeBron and them fakers. We've got Steph Curry, and we want to know, where does Curry rank in the hobby? You can see his prices have continued to explode, and, um, and I wanted to see what you guys think. Um, is there a chance that when the dust settles 20 years from now, people are going to want Curry over LeBron? Um, does Curry's prices ever hit MJ's prices? <laughs> um, where do you guys think – is he the, the number one behind LeBron right now, we can safely say? Is there anybody that's in front of him? Can you say Giannis is in front of him? Can you say Luca's in front of uh, him in, in, in terms uh, of the what, hierarchy of the hobby? No. But what's the cutoff? Like, what are we considering modern? Because I don't know if you can put the Jordan Fleer in there because I consider that a vintage card. Yes, vintage. at this point. Yeah, so yeah. I, so I think we. I think then you, you could can really only pair maybe maybe to Kobe. I think you can. I think you have to basically put it into the modern category. So Curry would Curry. I guess you could say Kobe as well. So Kobe, Curry, LeBron, uh, Giannis, Luca, uh, Zion, like all the. I guess you can basically group them all together as modern i don't think it's fair to like compare the card prices of jordan or you know chamberlain or bill russell or you know all those guys because there's it's just a different completely different 
pop report. True. Know? Yeah, it, it's hard to compare them against vintage. That's true. And plus with the, with Chrome and, and all that stuff that they didn't have back in those Jordan days. But, <clears throat> I mean, obviously we are homers. We'll try yeah, to take our – we'll try like, not to put our homer yeah, hat on too much. Uh, but, I mean, what's your take on, on, on where does Curry <laughs> land? Where does Curry land? Bro, <laughs> um, I think I sent the uh, the whole group chat, that, like a lot of people who worked here, the, the text the other day. Um, I mean – I'll, okay, so outside of hobby, real quick. Curry is one of only four players in NBA history, along with Michael, Kareem, and Wilt, to win multiple MVPs, multiple championships, and multiple scoring titles. Four people, including Steph Curry. So, I mean, I feel like there's always been a little disrespect to Curry that pe- from people that are not from the Bay Area. They're always trying to find something wrong with him. He didn't do this. He didn't do that. It's like, what else can he prove to you that he's a freaking god, dude? And Come on. That, that one MVP year, he was almost the most unanimous MVP, right? That yeah. anybody's ever ever exactly. been. Exactly. I'm like, so in terms of the hobby, dude, he's he's gonna he he's solidified in the hobby, I feel like. Um He's got to be a top five guy, right? He's got to be a top guy, five guy for modern basketball. He's got to be, if not, I think, not I top think without it, without a doubt, he's a top five guy. But I think the real question is: he on the podium? Is he one, two, or three? Yeah, I think so. I, 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 I if you take the guys, I could, put, I would honestly put him in the top five of all time. But I know that's blasphemous for some guys that are, you know, not Bay Area guys. fans. But yeah. I mean, what this guy's done to the game, um, you know. I can only say right now that, in my opinion, LeBron is better in terms of hobby value. Um, but what you're going to have with Curry, I mean, he's been on the same team his whole career. Um, so your he's, collection he's, looks uniform. He, yeah. That's and he, one thing. He looks uniform. And, and you know what? I, I, he's a little bit more likable. He may not be as polarizing. He may not be in the media as much as LeBron. Um, but he doesn't have as many hot takes that rub people the wrong way that LeBron does. You know, right or wrong, I'm not one to speak on politics, but LeBron mm-hmm. does go out and speaks his mind on what he's feeling at the moment. He feels like he's an ambassador to himself. And I, I think that that, that kind of rubs some people the wrong way, where Curry's been on one team, he kind of toes the line, he's always happy, he doesn't have really much controversy surrounding him as much as LeBron None does. At None at all. Um, but then you look at guys like Tim Duncan, and I know he's not as flashy, and Tim Duncan didn't shoot as many threes, but it doesn't seem like Tim Duncan gets as much love. As in the hobby, in, in the hobby at all. So, is Curry like a Tim Duncan, or is Curry? I think not I think I think, I think no. Curry Curry's no. From a hobby standpoint and collectability, I think Curry is far surpasses Tim Duncan. Yeah, uh, but I, in terms of hobby, Tim Duncan gets disrespected though. Yeah, yeah. he does. I mean, the amount of championships the guys won. I mean, what he's I say with the same team. Um, is quite incredible. I, I think mean, I think we've talked about this time and time again. There's got to be a little bit of flash to your game for you to have that that little oomph to to sell more than other guys, right? Yeah. And Curry has that. If you look at all the top guys, they have the little little bit of flash, if not a lot of a lot of bit of flash, right? Like a Giannis or a Luca type guys. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, from a from a hobby standpoint, I I definitely put Curry on the podium. Yeah. Um, but I given the gold. To LeBron, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, yeah. Objectively, you and then get to and then Kobe, then Curry, yeah. And that's where I would rank. You're them. putting Kobe second. I'm right putting now. Kobe okay. second. Um, I'm putting Kobe in second. the modern era. In the modern era, modern era. Uh, Kobe did a lot to transcend the sport internationally, mm-hmm. um, and he was the first one to really do it. Curry and a lot of the players now who are currently playing have taken that and expanded on it. But it was really Kobe as yeah, the like, OG who like really expanded the market internationally. I feel like Curry was kind of like the second ambassador. I mean, because how many times in the offseason has he gone over there and held camps and clinics? And I, stuff? I think I think he basically is taking the baton from yeah, it's taking them from from Kobe. But without Kobe, I don't know if basketball is as big as it is today. Mm-hmm. I think he really transcended the sport. Hundred percent. Yeah, I, I totally agree. So it'll be um, – I mean, does he have enough – if if he goes another 10 years – I mean, obviously he's going to have all the three-point records, right? Yeah. It's, that's, all that's well, he, it, he doesn't have 10 years left. Let's say he has yeah, – He has. I, I think I think he has maybe five years left at the most. Five to seven. I don't know if he plays seven more years, man. What is like, it – I don't – I. What does it take for him to actually be in the conversation of LeBron, MJ? How, how, what does it take for him – is it going to take three more championships? Is it going to take? 
I don't I don't think Curry will ever and it, it's no knock on Curry. I love Curry, but I don't think Curry will ever surpass Jordan or LeBron James. And either the hobby or popularity just in general. Well, and if you look at this slide, you can see some of these sales. I mean, this is crazy. Uh, 2012 Prism, obviously not even a rookie, but is the first year of Prism. Steph Curry, PSA ch- uh, 10, 11,000. That's just crazy. I love o- it. Almost 12,000. Mm. Um, I, I just don't even. I, I actually can't wrap my head around that. It's just the first year of Prism. The fifth year, year card. Yeah, I know it is, but <laughs> first year of Prism. And I you mean, got the. It, God, what if you just would have held on to. 30, 40, 50 cases of 12, 13 Prism. Yeah, we should have. We, we had a we, hard time selling we should it. Have. It's, it's like the guys, like I've heard stories when I got back in the hobby in 2012. I heard stories of guys that held cases of 0304 uh, Chrome, and they were selling them in like 2008 for like, you know, 10,000 a case or something. And even that back then, I was like, whoa, 10,000 a case. Yeah, you know what I'm now they're like thirty thousand a box. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Insanity. Um, Nine ten national treasures. Not even the true RPA. It's a subset within that year. Forty five thousand raw. Um, yeah. And then this is like befuddling. I, I had a conversation with somebody that wasn't really quite aware, but like I got in a breaks and like around that sixteen, seventeen, eighteen era. Yeah. These immaculate patch autos mm-hmm. have just went literally insane. So an in eighteen, nineteen immaculate collection red patch auto 25,000 almost so ridiculous um, I think I think there's one in that box over there there's a, a national treasures one um, we also have a patch just a patch flawless it's insane that I think I bought for like 200 there bucks. definitely is a auto relic with a prime patch yeah there there immaculate is. Did you guys have it, it may it may be an immaculate I don't know either I think it's NT Dude, Could like going back to what um really quick too like you were saying, that w- what would it take for Curry to do? I, I know Dan said he, he, you think he probably can't catch up. I think, personally, he get two, three more. He's in that conversation, bro. You, he has to be respected but he, enough but he to isn't, be put in that conversation. He, he isn't Jordan. Like, he didn't – like, Jordan transcended the He's game Jor- from, a, he, from, a, from a marketing standpoint. Like, look at everybody's shoes that they're wearing. Yeah. You know? They're Jordans. I, I don't. I don't walk. I don't walk around okay. and see everybody going. Hey, man! I, I just cop the new Under Armour. I, I, Under I meant just in terms of basketball. Just yeah, basketball. But but I'm like Jordan's brand and name. Yeah, not, not, I'm it, not talking about branding. I'm not talking but, about branding. But I, you can't look at Jordan without looking at like the Nike and yeah. the Jumpman like brand behind it. Like, well, that's that you could obviously it, it's, say it's that almost it's almost not fair because like nobody will ever be that. Nobody. That that's why you'll I, never you'll never you'll, get there. You'll never. Yeah. That's. I, I meant just in terms of uh, when we think about the greatest players of all times and you know people are debating if it's lebron or or jordan all the time i, I think without a doubt Steph's and gonna be in, and, in 40 50 60 years there's going to be highlights of curry playing and people are going to think of curry as one of the greatest if not the absolute greatest shooter of all time oh he's the greatest shooter. like he he will have Definitely. that title for sure nobody is going to be a better nobody is going to take over that title of being a better shooter than Steph Curry. Yeah, dude. If you if if you nitpicks Curry's career and 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 then you you pick out a couple of little small things that he hasn't been able to accomplish, it's like you're you're just you're just like no fin- like right no finals now. MVP. You're, well, you're str- yeah, but he should have won a couple times. Yeah, and in, in those championships, but especially the, the first year without Katie. But yeah. with Curry and we and being Warrior fans, we've seen him since his rookie season to now. He has gotten. So better every single year. Yeah. Um, when he so came into better. the league, he he was a shooting guard. Yeah. The Warriors basically made him into a point guard. Yeah. He had he had to <laughs> learn how to do it. He had to be a facilitator. He had to run an offense. He figured it out. He did it. Now he's great at his it. His dribbling massively improved. He too. he couldn't. He wasn't a great defender. He wasn't even a good <clears throat> defender. He's gotten a lot better at he's defending. He's a really good defender. And he, he kind of beefed up this year, I think, which has actually helped his game because he's. I think he's at the point now where he's bigger and more physical than he's ever been, and he's got, like, the mental. You know, you, you, you come to a point, you see it in a guy's career. When they're young, they're just all athletic, and they don't, they're not as, as wise. Um, but once you guys become in the league a long enough period of time, they get really wise to where they need to be. And I think he's, like, at the pinnacle of that right now. And he's, like, in the best shape of his career, right? And he took yeah. a year off, so – um, and then lastly, I mean, this blew my mind. I mean, these these probably a couple years ago were like maybe five thousand, but a uh, two thousand nine tops chrome refractor, which 
I have a regular Tops one, but I hate the photo. I absolutely hate it. I hate that year of the Westbrook's like, or the um, Harden's like that too. But $98,000 for a PSA 10 refractor, number to 500. Of, well, there goes my chances of ever owning yeah, one. Of Curry. And, and we don't even know what RPAs go for. That's a six-figure car easily. The true RPAs, which is shown on the first slide, that's the true RPA there. That is a easy six-figure card. We had a box of nine ten. We did national treasures. There was no curry in there, though. There was no curry. No, we, we did it. We did it as a personal box. Mm -hmm. um, no curry in there, but we we had a box of that, and it really wasn't that long ago. All right. Well, it's time for another giveaway, and it's fitting that Steph Curry is on the cover of this box. So we're going to give away right. a box of uh, twenty twenty one Donruss T Mall. Um, last week's winner, we already put it in the video, but Michael May, congratulations. You won yourself a score box. Please uh, give us your info so we can send that score box to you. I but already um, we, already, we already sent it to him? No, Perfect. no he, already, he already gave us his info. Awesome. So Michael's already on top of it. Uh, but for this week, I want to know what your guys' uh, Mount Rushmore is for basketball. Your top five. Uh, put that in the comments on the Mojo Break media video. I know that's a little bit more work, but uh, Mojo Break media video, please comment on your Mount Rushmore of basketball players. Um, and because that's going to be pretty interesting. I want to see what people say. And uh, you'll get a chance to win a Donruss T Mall. Um, it's about a $200 box. It has some exclusive parallels. You got a chance at, you know, the Lamello um, T Mall versions and stuff like that. So uh, only on the Mojo Break media video. So if you're watching this live, don't comment now. Wait to go to the Mojo Break Media once it's uploaded and comment below on your Mount Rushmore for basketball. Um, but let's let's uh, this is it's time for Dan's segment. We're gonna wake him up, and he's just gonna get all types of excited for his boy Shohei Otani. Dan's made about fifty predictions on the hype, and this is one that's okay. kind of paying for, off. First off, I Hall of Famer is what I am. Um, oh, they're gonna say Shohei Otani. Well, he's a Hall of Famer too, but like I bat well over four hundred with my predictions. <laughs> Well, well over. I mean, I know you're going to go back to one prediction. One prediction. Well, Dennis Smith Jr.? Yeah. Dennis Smith Jr., yeah. I, 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 he could dunk. He could dunk. There's no doubt he could dunk. <laughs> now he's at Dunkin' Donuts. So <laughs> he's working for Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> but, yeah, I was wrong once. But I tend to be right a lot. We you you waited on that Otani you did I mean you, I was uh, jumping ship last year after the second injury that he had basically that derailed <clears throat> last season he was injured in his first season hasn't been injured quite this year yet I know he's had some soreness had some some you know a couple days taken off but I mean the man is on fire and 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 looks like he's transcending baseball and he's in the conversation for MVP um, he's in your conversation for greatest of all time apparently uh, what do you see in this in, in Shohei Otani and, what and his what future don't, what don't you see in him. What does he not do? Does everything. Doesn't steal bases. No, he does. He <laughs> actually does. I think he actually leads the Angels in stolen bases. Okay, well, mm. he's not a good bunner. You don't need a bunt when you hit the ball 450 feet. <laughs> he, he does. He does have some great home runs. I'm really trying to be devil's at, at, at this does, moment in time. It's been. It's very hard for me it, to go against you. It doesn't matter. He is 100% the most exciting thing in baseball today. So you think he's going to win MVP this year? I, I, he should win MVP. He should win Cy Young. He should win Comeback Player of the Year. Uh, he should win Manager of the Year. I think he's managing that squad as well. <laughs> he's filling the lineup card. Um, he does it all. He does it all. Uh, you can see some of these prices here. A uh, Bowman Chrome Orange, 23000 and a first Bowman Chrome. The pitching one was the first one that came out. So if you're new to the hobby, the pitching one is the one you want. That's the first the one first that came one. out. Um, the batting one came out later in the season. Now it's <clears> under the Bowman Chrome umbrella. Um, but, uh, yeah, 65000 or best offer. We don't know exactly what that sold for, but that's a lot of coin for Shohei. Um, are you buying Shohei or are you I, selling Shohei? I actually was looking at it today. He's still undervalued. Mm. Oh, my God. I know. I know. How do I do it? <laughs> you He's know what? still undervalued. I, I will say this to, to Dan's point, too. It's – um. And specifically in this case, because it's Shohei Otani, um, when when he's when it's an international player in any sport, I'm guessing especially in baseball because it's pretty huge international over there in Japan, especially um, those guys are going to really go crazy over over that all of those card over those cards. He it, well then sell them to them. I will gladly sell my Shohei Otanis to those guys because I'm a seller right now because. 
I've been through the ups and downs, mostly downs with Shohei Otani. You just got cards. no faith. I just have seen you got, a, pa- you got, a pattern. You got paper hands, bro. You got paper hands. I may have paper <laughs> hands, but the reason why the guys, the guys, the guy's been overused. He does it all, and he's tired, and he's probably going to injure something. He isn't tired. How do you know? He's not tired. He's, he's not a, tired. He's a young man. Nobody can get him out, and he gets everybody out. Can I you just, say that about anybody else? I just don't know if we're going to have another <laughs> peak, um, which is actually kind of funny because. The whole up rise of this whole hobby kind of started with Shohei Otani. Yeah. And now yeah. we're back around talking about Shohei Otani again, which is it's just like it kind of comes back in cycles, right? So, uh, you know, 17 had Aaron Judge and Cody Bellinger, which kind of, you know, kind of led in. But then Shohei Otani, it was just there was mania going on. There was like $40,000 Shohei Otani autos. Uh, there was what that bounty that blowout put out for like 500000 for a super fracture. Yeah, but Aaron Judge isn't living up to the hype. No, he's not. Shohei is living up to the hype. Lim- Bellinger... You got to say, I mean, he's injured, but Bellinger is a top 10 player in the league. Yeah. Uh, but he, he's been injured pretty much the whole season. What is, what is Otani, a top 10 player in the league, you're saying? Oh, God. <laughs> Dan, let me, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question, Just, Dan. I mean, he, he's, he's the best. <laughs> Dan, let me ask you a question. Do you think Shohei's prices will eclipse Trout's at some point? Not maybe not the season, maybe question. not next season. That's wow! Tough one. Um, if he puts together, and this is, he, he's on a historic run right now, but if he puts together five years in a row, this, like he's putting together right now, yeah, that's fair. There's no doubt. That's I, fair. There, actually, he will eclipse any modern modern player. I'm glad you put that in there. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm all, well, his uh, cards will be more the, than, they'll, they'll be more than like, pinnacle. 52 no. Mantle. 52 Mantle. Nah. Otani. Okay. <laughs> I, I just, I just haven't seen enough to put that stamp on it. I think right now it's like, it's like the Bitcoin at 63,000. That's, that's where I'm at with Otani. Like it's time. Like you may not have another opportunity to sell because the guy may get injured again because that's his historically he's been injured. He came in. You were actually you were talking Dude, about him. He, he's been in the league for three years, and he's been injured three years. He had Tommy John. All all pitchers have Tommy John. You just basically you get drafted, you go have Tommy John, and then three years later you start pitching. I specifically remember, and this was before he made his debut, when we were talking about it on the hype like number ten or whatever it was. You you specifically came out and said that he had already had injections in his arm and that he's not going to last. Well, that's actually the best thing you said because that's been proven. He hasn't lasted until right now, which is it's really it, a the small injection was size. to try to prevent Tommy John. Tommy John. Yes, and then it ultimately led to Tommy John. But no, it whatever they put in it's magic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that robot it, arm. Yeah, or it's, something. it's it's magic. He I, he's uh, the most he. If you watch. He is a reason to watch baseball. But they're, they're bring the kids in. Have have the kids watch Otani. They'll love it. They'll become baseball fans. But the Angels won't even make the playoffs. They're eighteen and twenty two. They're they're third or fourth in that division. It's not his fault. I know. I he's know. only he's only one man. Right. And that the funny thing is, is that no, apparently he's we, two. He hits but we, pitches. But we've always were like, man, if Trout can just get some help around him, <laughs> what else do you need, Mike Trout? Well, Mike Trout was batting four hundred, but now he's what hurt. else do you need? What else do you need, Michael Jordan Trout? <laughs> I, I, I think they I, – I don't know. I don't – the Angels may just You're be like, one of those hey, teams. You're like, hey, well, it would be really helpful if we got a pitcher. You got one. You got you got one of the best ones in the league. Man, I really need somebody to protect Mike Trout in the batting, batting order. You got one. You got the best in the league. What else do you need? One Maybe. more piece. One more piece. All right, well, let's move on. It's up to you guys. Also, if you want to comment below, there's no giveaway attached to it, but if you want to comment on your on the Shohei Otani situation, are you buying, are you selling, what do you think his future is, I want to know. I want to see if people are on my team or on Dan's team because I just, I, you know, maybe I'm not looking at it as, as far as the player aspect of it, but I'm looking at it as the investment. I'm, I'm saying like, hey, I may not have another chance to sell my Otani. I'm not an Angels fan personally. If he's on the Giants, it would be a different story. I don't keep, I keep Giants cards. I don't keep other teams cards so i'm thinking it's time to sell but let's talk about selling in terms of selling i know a lot of people had a tough day at the old investment um but wall street trading cards this came up on my facebook i could i I had to take a double take they got me to click they got me on it so i clicked on this and i'm like wall street trading cards i'm like what is this so like it doesn't look like any of the major companies behind it there's three guys all with the same last name i'm assuming they're related they're behind this and it's three packs per box, 10 cards 
per pack. And each box will give you a share of a random stock. So you could get an Apple stock. Yeah, wrap your head around you that. You could get an Amazon stock. You could get Caterpillar. But who are the cards? Are they hedgies? No, the cards are actual, the symbols, I believe. They didn't show any images of it, but I believe they're like, you'll get base cards of Apple or base cards of Oh, I was like, I don't want base cards of hedge funds. I'm cool, bro. <laughs> no, it's all the main stocks that you see every day. Tesla, GM, Tesla, all this stuff. Tesla, GM, Caterpillar, Luck and, and Coffee. And then one of them, <laughs> you'll get a stock of. Stock. Yo, yo, get one, one stock. True stock. But you don't know. It's at random. Right, and it's one hundred forty dollars. It's one hundred and forty dollars. And what? Is, what I, is, bought, I bought some. I wanted to. I'll, I'll report back on this, um, on how it turned out for me. Um, the only question is, I guess you got to. It's a redemption card, and then they have to basically. You have to log into some certain account, and then they transfer it. So I don't think it actually goes in your E Trade or anything like that. I don't, I don't know how that works. Um, maybe that'd be a question for these guys, these Wall Street trading card guys. Um, now I know people buy cards to be able to flip them on eBay. But at first I was like, isn't this almost the same as like just putting cash in a in an envelope and then wrapping it in a box in a sense? Isn't it kinda kinda that same thing? It, do this? it, it does say it, it does talk a lot about being an educational product for learning how to learning about the stock market. Okay. It it there's a lot about that and, and it I don't see education and investing. Can you see what the balance like? So it gives you a little, little like, yeah, it has their 52 week high, their 52 week low shows their stock symbol, blah, blah, blah. They have Coca-Cola. So they, they actually, they have all their odds. One thing that they, they, they weren't completely transparent about is how many boxes they made. Somebody asked them on their Facebook, how many boxes they made. And they kind of diverted and they said limited. They didn't say how many, which I would have liked them to say how many are made. Cause if they I'm, just I'm keep, I ordered two boxes, so I will see. I might have um, to order one for the show, too. They have um, – you, you can view – if you go on their website, wallstreettradingcards.com, I'm saying a buy at your own risk. I'm not saying, hey, this is a, this is a strong buy because I, I don't know. I haven't opened it yet. Yeah, we – they actually uh, – it's not like they hit us up and we're advertising. We are advertising for them right We are. Now. We totally are. Um, <laughs> it's not like 3K right now? Yeah, it's yes. a lot. So, yeah, it's a lot. so 3K. But it's 260 to 1 odds to get Amazon. So, to, to me, that tells me that – per buck. 260, 260, there's only one in 260 boxes. Okay. So that, to me, that tells me they made 260 boxes, in my opinion, because um, that's the highest odds, right? Um, 130 to 1 get AT&T, 9 to 1 to get eBay, and they have hold, all the odds. Hold, 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 hold up, hold up. I'll, I'll, throw some, uh, I'll throw some numbers at you right now because I actually, I got some of those stocks here. Well, so what's the lowest you can get here? So uh, let's go to the one that – give me one that bottom. is a um, – Well, see, it said McDonald's stock is 5 to 1, right? So you get uh, fi 5 to 1 to get McDonald's stock. Um, but I was confused because – You actually get it. You actually By the way, this is not you financial don't, you advice. Don't get, you don't get McDonald's stock. You get a double cheeseburger. Uh, see, McDonald's stock is 230, right? So that you made, you made $100. But So how, how would they do that? That's, that's what I don't understand. Um, All right. Bank of America right now is... Five of one. That's pretty good. Bank of America is 40, about $42 a share. Okay. So you lose there. All right. Uh, uh, wait, give, me, uh, uh, give me one of those st other Starbucks. Starbucks. I got the, I got the old Starbucks. Uh, 109. All right. So that's kind of a... That's kind of a loser. How about Coca-Cola? Coca wow. Starbucks is only a dollar a share. Don't we no, all? not not dollar share. Oh, one hundred and nine. I was like, Bruh. yeah, one hundred and nine. I'm pretty sure we all drink stuff. Three hundred, three hundred forty. Okay, that's that's, all right, a, all right. that's came up. eBay, the bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. eBay, fifty nine sixty six right now. Fifty nine dollars. Fifty nine sixty okay, bucks. Okay, so yeah, that's one that's that's a, that's a loser. So I, yeah, I don't uh, know. Twitter, Twitter, I think will is definitely more. I think. Okay, I'm copping a box just just for the show that I'm gonna do. Uh, Twitter is fifty fifty three bucks. Okay, so there's definitely obviously. I mean, f they're they're obviously probably a for profit company. They're they're not gonna give you more than they sell the box for. But it also like, when did they buy the stock? Right, right, exactly. I mean, if you would have when the market tanked in March of 2020, and you just bought. I mean, how do you how do you buy it to transfer it? Though? I know that, that's what that's, I don't understand that's the either. thing that I they don't, must have I that figured out. I don't understand. 
All right. Well, we're getting short on time, and I got a couple more topics to go over to before we get into guess that price. I wanted to talk about this because you know we don't break this product specifically, but there is a lot of breakers that break this product. It's a buyback, and it's called Fantasy Sports Breaks. Um, like I said, we don't, we don't, we really kind of spend our due diligence and, and and only break products that we feel comfortable with and and know the company. And, you know, to this to this moment, we only do Hit Parade and Leaf and Break King. This is a product that a lot of breakers have been doing. I've, I've seen it, the name floating around for a year, two years. Um, it's an absolute dumb name that needs to be completely changed. So if you're, if you carry, if you're a breaker and you're watching this show, you need to reach out to whoever you're buying this from and tell them to change the name. There's been several breakers that have had their websites shut down. And my investigation, my looking into this, all comes back the to them selling. The common denominator is it, all of them seem to be breaking this fantasy sports breaks product. Correct. And the shopping, like Shopify or any of these oh, big. Oh, that's what happened. Yep. A lot of these uh, these big companies, uh, these cart companies, fantasy sports is on customers' receipts. Well, they don't do gambling. You can't create DraftKings. It's not feasible you can't do that that's what was so happening. they are shutting it down because it's gambling in their opinion but this has nothing to do with gambling because it's a buyback product so why would you name your product fantasy sports breaks when it has nothing absolutely zero to do with fantasy sports at all yeah. so just change the name just make it don's buyback or don's sports cards or something whatever just just simplify it just take the fantasy sports name out and do away with it yeah um, and you, you know, you want to, you might want to contact your, your distributor if you're uh, somebody that carries this and what are my next steps, especially yeah. if you've lost out on some income on this, cause this is not good. Um, so. to, to your point, um, actually let's take it a step further. Like, cause we re probably, probably reach a lot of collectors that just listen to the show and are not break companies necessarily. If you know any of your, anybody that you break with it, whether it be a Facebook breaker, or Instagram breaker, whoever, whoever you break with and they do this product, let them know to like contact the company that they buy it from because yeah, they need to change the name. That's why like Doug was saying, like it, these companies, it's are like if I, down. if I sold a, um, my website was like gamble porn dot com. Whoa. Like <laughs> I could not get Shopify. I could not get any of these major processing carts to, to let me I'm sell. intrigued though. I want to know what it is. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> those are two flagged words as well. <laughs> I'm intrigued. I'd like to know. Oh, well, we'll have another meeting. With this. I can't find a card processor. I own the, I own the domain now. I'm just saying, you can't have keywords that are, are, are illegal. And, 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 and basically, fantasy sports is illegal in, in, in some states. And um, you cannot sell it if you're using a Shopify platform or these platforms that have already flagged this stuff. And a lot of these guys do not know that this is what's causing this um, is the fantasy sport. So I'm just saying. That makes a lot of sense. It actually. does, right? I mean, uh, you can't sense. have these certain keywords because now all these customers have this on their receipt. So the Shopify, whoever is their cart processing, is now looking at this going like, there's a lot of risk. There's a lot of risk on all these people to charge back. I mean, there, there's there been a, a, lot of, a lot of buyback products that have come out, and a lot of them have some pretty bad names. This one wins. Yes. Th this is th this was not a well thought out name. There wasn't a sit down and maybe a twenty minute focus group, <laughs> throw around some names a little bit, maybe a little whiteboard. <laughs> they didn't do that. They're just like, What do you like? Fantasy sports, breaks, nail it, done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of a hotel with two trees. Ah, the old uh... <laughs> Double Tree, yes, done. Media adjourned. Yes. The yes. Uh, the Mitch Hedberg. Mitch Hedberg, yes. yes. So I'm just saying, like, kind of a public uh, PSA, sir, you know, announcement here. Like, if you know anybody breaking this product that's still currently breaking this product, let them know that they're putting their whole business at risk at this point, where they may have to uproot their business and find another cart processor because they're not going to be able to sell products. They're not going to be able to sell Prism or National Treasures or stuff that doesn't have fantasy sports breaks in their name because they're deciding to carry fantasy sports breaks. You this, wouldn't see Panini or Tops come out with a product that says anything about fantasy sports in the title. Like, they wouldn't do it. None of the top manufacturers would do it. Right. They got a legal team. They right. understand. Right. Exactly. It'd just be like if they made trading cards of alcohol. You could not make trading cards of alcohol and sell it and it not get flagged. If you're like, yeah, it would be like you were selling alcohol on a Shopify website. You can't do that.
Yeah. Um, so, all right. Well, we have um, a segment called What's Hot in the Shop. You can find it on our Mojo Break Media. We're actually going to play this now. We're going to come back, and we're going to have the Guess That Price Challenge with Cody making his debut. Let's see if the uh, the rookie can come in here and take down these grizzled vets, see if he can claim the title of Guess That Price. And we're doing a little differently this. I, I think I can give Cody a chance. We're doing eight different sports. Yeah. Eight, um, eight, eight cards, eight different sports. I am winning, there but I'll, I'll give it a shot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there that, is. That doesn't exist. Eight different categories. It's pretty hard to beat, Dan. All right, so we're going to go ahead and play that, and we're going to do a little switcheroo, and uh, we'll be right back. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to Mojo Break Media. This is another episode of What's Hot in the Shop. MojoBreakShop.com is the website for all your hobby box needs, and we're going to go over some of the stuff that's really popular in Santa Clara here at our Mojo Break Shop. First, we're going to talk about Pokemon. We got Zacian and Zamanzetta, ETB plus boxes and the cool thing about these is there are no regular ETB boxes in this box you get 12 packs and the regular you got shiny fates and champions path which is 10 packs but these are a little cool you get 12 and you also get 65 card sleeves you get guaranteed cards of Zamanzetta and Zacian. Next one is one of my favorites 2021 Bowman it's going to be the first cards of some of the biggest names in baseball every player has gotten their start in Bowman whether it be Mike Trout Buster Posey Ronald Acuna. Well, this group has Austin Martin for the Blue Jays, as well as Yoel Keen Cespedes on the White Sox as well. So there's a lot of up and coming prospects in this. We have it in Mojo Break Shop, not only as a hobby, but we have the jumbo version as well. So stack up on your latest first bonus. Believe it or not, guys, racing, one of the hottest sellers. This is the first edition of the F1. I don't know if you guys have had a chance to watch that Netflix special. It's three seasons in now on F1, but Lewis Hamilton cards are insane. And you're having the chance of getting one of his first cards in this set. He has a lot of different parallels to chase. He has variations, he has autographs. So these are selling like hotcakes in the shop. F1 Chrome, get them while they last. All right, now for the football lovers, you got new 2021 score. You get a chance of chasing new Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, Mac Wilson, and Trey Lance. 10 packs, 40 cards per pack, 400 cards in this box. And we have it here at Mojo Break today. So come on down, get your new 2021 score before they run out. Select NFL blaster boxes, and with the blaster boxes, you know what's good with those? We got hanger boxes. We got select NFL hanger boxes, and we have Donruss optic hanger boxes. So for all the people who can't get them at Target anymore, you know, come down to Mojo Break. We got we got you guys with the hookup. You gotta have cello packs, right? So fat cello packs here at Mojo Break for select. All right, NBA Finals just about to start. We've got lots of basketball. Newest release, Crown Royale, where you can get the prime silhouette rookies as well as the kabooms. Everybody loves kabooms. Those are uh, usually about one per case, so chase those. We also have a special on MojoBreakShop.com for any basketball box. Use code FINALS. Use code FINALS, and that will save you 15% off. Probably one of our biggest sales of the year. Load up on Prism, Mosaic, Chronicles, any of the stuff that you like. Use code FINALS at checkout and that'll save you 15% off any of our basketball releases. All right, we are back with Guess That Price. I'm your host, Gene. And I'll be going over some cards here and they're gonna be competing and we'll see who wins. What you guys' money on? I want to know who's, who's going to win this. Let's pick a winner. I don't know. I'm Make just your here. predictions. I was told there was gamble porn. I'm here for the gamble <laughs> porn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to know what it is. <laughs> we'll have a separate <laughs> for that. Well, I, I, have a great, I have a great idea for that one. Um, no. Nah. Uh, but anyways, all right. So we got, we got eight cards we're going to go over. Guess that price. And um, we're going to see who wins. It's eight different categories of trading cards. So we're going to start. Uh-oh. We're gonna start with baseball. Are you guys ready? We're ready. Yes. You guys ready? Ooh. All right, so ooh, we have, ooh, ooh. we have. That's a big boy. That's a million dollars right there. We have a Juan Soto 2016 Bowman Chrome Gold Refractor 9510, and those are numbered to 50. From That's his first off, Bowman. So I don't get any ideas from the chat. First Bowman, Juan Soto. He looks uh, a little skinny on the photo, um, but it's from the iconic 2016 Bowman Chrome. I wanna see what you guys' guesses are on the chat for this card. Um, and these are all via auction. I did not do any buy it nows on these. These are all, all these cards are via auction. Re ended pretty recently. Juan Soto, gold. We got a sell date for this? 
this one? Um, it was. These are all within the last 30 days. Okay. All within the last 30 days. So I don't know who wants to go first. I guess Dan's the champion. I guess the self-proclaimed champion. I didn't. Whole, I didn't self-proclaim event. anything. It was Conrad. <laughs> um. So let's go with. Dan uh, wins like 90 percent of these, dude. Right. Let's go with Dan. All right. Thirty-four thousand. All right. Who wants to? Who wants to challenge that? Forty-six five. Forty-six thousand five hundred. Man, we're really going prices right. Fifty k. It is numbered to fifty thousand dollars a number. For fifty. <laughs> Forty-six five, bro. Well, the rookie comes in and gets one point. Oh. It was eighty thousand dollars. Eighty thousand one hundred ninety-nine for good measure. But it was eighty thousand dollars. <laughs> this card sold for guys. No, it didn't. So, uh, yeah, I <laughs> Cody, it. Cody on the board first. One point for Cody. I got to take a tally of points. We've got Cody on the board. And, uh, you know, this, this was the gimme. I only did an entire video series about prices of cars heading into the season. So I should 80 know. grand, $80,000. Wow. Is that a good investment, Dan? His name is no Tani. One, <laughs> one Bitcoin. <laughs> no, two Bitcoins now. I'll tell you right two now. Bitcoins. Two and a half Bitcoins. Yeah, two and a half. Is Juan Soto a good pitcher? <laughs> He's no, no Otani. All right. right we got good the dancer next in the batter's box. We got the next one. Uh, we're going into football. We've got. A one of one, flawless, on card, Patriots uniform, mm. Randy Moss. Oh, the almost perfect team. Catch that. The beat almost running, perfect like team. Moss. And uh, I guess since Cody, uh, Cody, well, I'll give you guys some chance to uh, write this in. But Randy Moss was not in every flawless. He he kind of came around the last couple years, um, and and some of his prices uh, fetched a premium. So one of one, Randy Moss. One and uh, when you guys are ready, I'm locked in. I feel like I'm going to be way off. I'm off. I'm not going to win this one. I'm not going to win it. What do you guys got in the chat? Uh, what right. do you guys got on Randy Moss? One of one. Flawless greats. Winner of the last round goes first. All right. All right. I think I went way low on this. 8.5K. You, 80, went, you went way low? I think I went way low, <laughs> frankly. That, I don't know. I that's no low. Dang. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. No, that's, see. That's low. T- twenty six fifty. Twenty six thousand. No, twenty six hundred fi- <laughs> okay. and fifty dollars. Twenty six hundred. Yeah. Twenty six fifty, bro. And uh, Dan. Twenty one hundred. They didn't go. They, right, they didn't see, have the perfect season. Come this on, is where the noob. Dude, it's only Randy Moss. Dan. Dan takes that one. Ah. Gets himself on the board. That card sold for one thousand three hundred and eighty dollars. So okay. Cody God, shot. I knew it wasn't <laughs> high. Cody got a little confident in that one. Uh, I thought, I thought <laughs> shot I was a little gonna... high. <laughs> Eighty five thousand. Yep. <laughs> They're all worth eighty five thousand, right? Sid Rad is uh, you're you're losing right now, man. You got you got to get this one. This game is rigged, bro. You got it. All right, all right. You got this, well, we got one for you to get focus, you on the board focus. here, Sid Rad. We got one, one for you. There's one thing I know is Randy Moss. All right, we got 2020 Panini Prism Anthony Edwards Silver Prism Auto PSA 10 Anthony okay. Edwards. I could be in the ballpark for this. Prism Auto. Silver Prism Auto. Ron says, good thing he didn't collect football. He was way off. Yep. Um, hey, uh, there was somebody that guessed 7,500, so they were right on there right. with you, Cody. So, one uh, of you one. Got, you, got some, you, got, you got some people in the club right there. All right. All right. So who wants to go first? We got Dan going first on this one. Anthony Edwards, Silver Prism. Oh. Auto. One second. What is your pick? One second. Silver. Are you using random.org? One, one, one second. Um, I realized it's graded. It's yeah. graded. Yeah, it changes it. I mean, yes. it has to at least 10 times value, right? Yes, you're right. Yeah. Hard to get into PSA. It's hard to get in there. 5,200. Dan with the 5,200. It's graded, dude. You know how hard it is to get anything? It's automatically worth more than $300. That's, See, what, it, that's what it costs <laughs> to get graded. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> 1375. 1,000? Yeah, 1,000. Dude. 1,375. Going a little high again. $9,000. <laughs> one trillion. <laughs> yep. <laughs> one one Dogecoin. Bro. Oh, man. Uh, it looks like uh, C-Rad gets himself on the board. We got uh, $2,958. Dude, that was going to be very sad yeah, if I didn't no, get that right. No, but that that might be pop one. Could be. So is that a good deal? That, that's why I went so high. I actually I looked. I looked at the pop report on Prism Basketball. Yeah, we last week, right? Yeah, there's like yeah. 
380 cards have been graded or something crazy yeah. like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was ma legit maybe, 10 Maybe season. more than that. Maybe like 1,300, but like nothing like we saw in like 1920. The only reason I feel like this one was is low is because that's not the true uh, rookie auto. Yeah. That's the I sensational almost knew that there was a There was a mojo that's that true. sold for 6,000, same same set. I well, could, that's I could what not you – because I would have put 52. I would have been closer. <laughs> you, you <laughs> it would, it would, I would have put the same amount. <laughs> I, w I would have went home after, if I didn't get if I didn't win that one I would have just walked out. <laughs> that's right. your category, man. Oh, that's right. Are we tied here? That's right. I I, actually, tired. you know what? And Wiseman uh, did win in the chat with twenty seven hundred. He was right on the button. Yes, we are in a uh, three way tie, one to one to one here, uh -huh. and this is where things start getting wacky. So we're gonna we're gonna head down hockey hockey lane here, mm. and uh, we're Ooh. gonna go with a two thousand five two thousand six rookie SP authentic Sidney Crosby auto. Those are numbered to nine ninety nine. 10 on the auto. <clears throat> um, probably low pop. There is a thousand of them. Probably not all of them gemmed like that. 9 5 gem mint with a 10 autograph. Sidney Crosby. This is his rookie? Yeah, it is his rookie. But that's autograph. not the I heard, I heard, rookie. I heard, I heard right? this guy's pretty good. That's not like the rookie you would want. That is. I heard that guy's pretty that, good. That would be. I, I mean, and I'm going gonna, gonna to give a little, little help here because I'm in it. I'm in this. I, I think I can say it. this would be considered one of the best rookie mm -hmm. autos to get. One of the better ones. One yes. of the better ones. The, cu I, it, the cup I, would obviously be but, the... But the cup would be a patch auto. Yep. So this would be probably similar to a contender's rookie auto. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And, um, yeah, he's... Uh, I mean, I guess you could kind of say that Sidney Crosby is the LeBron James of hockey, right? You ready? <laughs> All right. So who's going first? $35,000. I way understand that, this. That's not a terrible guess. No, it's not. Uh, 12500 Twenty six thousand five hundred. Twenty six thousand five hundred. Yep. Well, Cody gets himself on the board. I think we're going into a, or back on the board with number two, <laughs> and the card sold for eight thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars. Okay, that's wrong. That's it. Hockey collectors, wrong. you disappoint me, bro. That's it. That's Hockey wrong. Hockey collectors. All right. That is. Look yourself in the mirror. I narrative. will buy that right now, <laughs> dude. Hockey collectors. I thought you guys had a lot of money, man. I will <laughs> trade you thirty six thousand Dogecoin for that card. <laughs> that just goes to show you that it might be an opportunity to buy the greatest hockey, the greatest active hockey player. Give me some at a, at a pretty fair price. Give I, me yeah. some OV. You think Dude. you think bas us basketball collectors would ever let a LeBron go for eight thousand dollars? No, no, no. Yep. It looks like Joe in the chat got that, that one as well. That equivalent, if that was LeBron, that has to be like a hundred and twenty thousand dollar card. Usually. So you yeah. can make you, you can make. I mean, there's not as so much eyeballs on the hockey. Uh, segment, but yeah, that's that's a that's a pretty fair price. All right, so now we're gonna go into soccer. All right, we got a first year of flawless soccer. Actually, there's only been one year of flawless Ooh. on card. Leo Messi, six of fifteen, and it's encased. So not graded, but it's encased uh, because it is one of the main hits of the box. First year, at first and only year of flawless soccer, and it was the World Cup year. Six of fifteen. Go <laughs> All right, so who's good? Uh, Cody goes first cuz uh, Cody oh, no, no, Cody go. got that round. I I feel like I we're going to be really surprised by this price and I again, I don't know It's going to you think it's going to be lower? No, I think this is going to be <laughs> I, I have no idea anymore. $30,000. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. Yeah, 70, but you're, 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 7500. You're, yeah, you're out of your mind. Seventy five hundred dollars. Seventy five hundred, C Rad? Yes. Sixty five hundred. Maybe I'm right. <laughs> Cody. Almost dang near seal the deal. Twenty two thousand no. dollars. What did I no. say? Twenty two thousand dollars. There's no way. Yes, he's the best. Wait, there's no way. It's the biggest part Dude, of the world. There's, there's fourteen <laughs> the more only, only of that exact card. The only set. World Cup Dude, year, best player in the world. I, I bought I bought the upper deck UDA thing for like eight grand. <laughs> And it's like it, it it's like it fits up a whole wall. You could like wallpaper your house with messy autos. We could not sell that product, Dan. I bet you those cases. There's a like lot of them, Doug. Now. We couldn't sell. There's a lot of them. We could. <laughs> oh man, yeah, the greatest in the world, and it's an on-card flawless. It's you not also got to keep in mind that a lot of the, lot of the Leo autos are not on card, and this is the highest end Dude, Leo I, Messi auto. I disagree with that price. So Cody, uh, I don't with a three, and 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 we only have Dan. How could you let this happen, dude? We have three left, so you guys need to really step up because if Cody Cody gets another one here, it's over. 
All right, so we're going to go into golf. We're going into golf, and uh, Artifacts Golf just came out. You can find breaks of Artif Artifacts Golf Dude. on MojoBreak.com, random letter style. We got a number to 10, Bryson DeChambeau, Rookie Auto. It's a sticker just out of the brand new Artifacts Golf. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see is what you it, guys think. Is it numbered? It's, it's numbered, yeah. It's numbered? It's numbered to 10. 10. It's numbered to 10? Numbered to 10. I don't you even know, know that guy. You know that's big money right and there. And that's 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 the guy. He likes to work out, that's, likes to hit the ball hard. That's Popeye right there. That's, that's Happy Gilmore. That's Zion of golf, right? Yeah. Or LaMelo. There how are like also so many guys who I didn't realize are rookies in artifacts, like Justin Thomas is a rookie, Tony Finau. Like big names, I didn't even realize because it's been what five. I know years? Justin Thomas. I didn't even right. realize. That's, yeah, that's right. kind of a big. I think you're just making up some names now. <laughs> They're just random people. <laughs> All right. Well, Cody gets to start it again. McGavin. Uh, Shooter McGavin. Something Wong. Uh, <laughs> something Wong. One thousand dollars. Damn. Huh? <laughs> Thirty five hundred. Dude, it's a thousand dollars a box, isn't it? Like Thirty five hundred. Yeah, you're right. Thirty five hundred uh, for yeah, uh, yeah, C Red. Yes. Uh, how much? How much was that, C Red? Thirty-five hundred. Eighty-nine hundred. Mm. Eighty-nine hundred. <laughs> <laughs> even Doug knows you didn't. It's win. number to ten. He's laughing like crazy. It's number to there. ten. It's it's Zion. Oh. It's number to ten. It's number to ten. My nine to one bet pays off. That card sold for one thousand six hundred and thirty dollars. Yeah. How did that happen? Why is it home? Then why buy a box for seven hundred dollars? <laughs> no, it's more than that. Why I'm buy? I know. I think it's like seven hundred. But why? Why? If that is like the biggest card you can get. Well, there's other subs. There's diamond autos of him that have sold for more. Um, Tiger's in there. That is a number to ten of the guy you're looking for, the rookie, and it sold for a thousand dollars. Golf collectors, you disappoint me. You think we would let a LeBron rookie go whatever, for that price? Whatever, man. Sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundred. A thousand dollars. Whatever. See, there's there's a ton of other good rookies, and you got Tiger. He he has a great penmanship. I, I think I that was a good that. investment. That was a it's good a investment. Slick auto. It is Golf collectors, come auto. on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. Don't, well, don't you got, don't you care about your hobby? Like <laughs> we've got uh, we've you got. You didn't get cars for five years, man. <laughs> We've got this is how you repay upper deck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we've got two more, even though it's just for fun at this point, because uh, Cody. Hey, man, <laughs> just no. slaughtered we're playing, you guys. We're playing for silver. Slaughtered you guys. Yes, you are playing for silver. That's right. Let's see who gets second place on the podium here. We've got racing and we've got F1. And you guys know where I'm going with this one. We're going Lewis Hamilton. Orange. Sapphire. Cracked ice. Oh, yes. Orange Sapphire. Number to 25. What do you guys think? And uh, Cody's first. He's been first the whole time. So, uh, and I'm cashing out that nine to one ticket. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of the chat, Lewis Hamilton? Uh, I'm going uh, three point seven five k. Five thousand. Five thousand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And that was uh, $3,750. Uh, what? How much? Yeah, 3750 $3,750. Right. 3, right. Dan hasn't gone yet. I haven't gone yet. No, that I, was I me. That was it. me. I haven't gone yet. I was confirming his bid. Okay. 29500 29, There we go. <laughs> 29500 Yeah. Dan, you've lost it, man. The, I, car <laughs> the card sold for $12,258. Oh, actually, so I'm the closest. I'm C Rad. C Rad gets that one. C Rad, the Lewis Hamilton expert in the building. You disappoint me, Formula 12K? One collectors. Okay. <laughs> $12,258. And, and let's mention it, it is raw for our podcast. I, no, and, I, and I get that, but <clears throat> it's also. That's his true rookie card. Yeah, but it, yeah. it's. I mean, his true base card. It's. Because he has a lot of, of subsets. But it's out of Sapphire, too. It is. Which is like extremely short printed. Yeah, true. yeah, yeah. True, true, true. Um, I, so I didn't know that. I thought this was from the regular one. Yeah. Uh, 29, 29K, I think that's what it should be. Well, if for. somebody should contact Dan, it looks like he's willing to pay 29000 for that card. Um, <laughs> don't, don't contact me with these prices. I don't. Like. He'll give you a Bitcoin for it. Um, anyways, yeah, he, he has that seductive look, Sanford says in the chat. Man. <laughs> All right. Maybe uh, C Rad might have this one on lock. We're going to go UFC Prism. Oh. And uh, we are going to go a gold autograph of champion Amanda Nunes. Hey. It's number to 10. Amanda Nunes, gold auto out of the debut UFC Prism. Yo, if I win this one, I know I'm one point short, but like, no, you're two, is there another yeah, one? Be one point short. 
Is, is there another one that I can can tie? No. Get no. double for getting the exact price. Okay. Yeah. 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 But you get the oh, exact. Why did I just do that? <laughs> why did, why did <laughs> exactly. I suggest? That? <laughs> I don't know. Let's. Um. Um, but I think C Rad's. Uh, you're 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 first at this yeah. one. Yeah. Um. I got gotcha. you. I got a good price on this one. Thirty-nine fifty. So three thousand nine hundred. Thirty-nine dollars and fifty cents. Twenty-five hundred. Three thousand nine hundred and fifty. Twenty-five hundred for me. Twenty-five hundred, Cody. And Dan. Seventeen fifty. One thousand seven hundred fifty. One thousand, yeah, not seventeen dollars and fifty cents. I got, I got close though. One of you guys were only off by a hundred dollars. Only a hundred dollars. The card sold for four thousand fifty dollars. So C Rad, pretty close. Didn't get double points. I don't. But made it respectable. I don't. (laughs) I don't get it. King Kong. <laughs> if we had one more, qu- I mean, you made a run at the end, C. Rad. If you, I almost only- got, a, I almost got the double points. All right, you almost did. Hundred dollars. That was pretty off. incredible. I would have never. I, if I was actually, I would say like eight hundred dollars personally. So I would yeah. have been in the ballpark. I knew when you popped up this Amanda Nunez, I was like. I'm going to win at least this one right here. <laughs> well, you did get the basketball in the UFC category. so. Um, but, yeah, see, Cody comes in and just, just destroys you guys. That's so, right. Uh, we'll have to have uh, another run back and uh, all Man, I never and, win. Yeah, I think you've won one. Just Man, imagine I, if you threw some Pokemon in there. I, just been, that'll I, be uh, nice. That'll be nice. <laughs> I really didn't show up today. Oh, yeah. you could just say you just wanted to let somebody else win, right? Yeah. No, that I mean, you know, every fine. day in and day out, you you try your hardest, but today just wasn't my day. <laughs> Go back to the drawing board, figure out <laughs> what you need. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all we got for today. We've got some breaks coming up, so stay tuned here at MojoBreak.com. Uh, MojoBreak.com for your breaks. Uh, MojoBreakShop.com for your latest seal wax. And we have some crazy deals on wax there. Right on the front page, we've got the deal of the day. And if you watched earlier, there was a little bit of a code to save some more money on some already low basketball boxes. So check that out at mojobreakshop.com where you get wax shipped to your door and you can become the breaker. Um, and that is it for now for episode 190. We're almost to episode 200, so we're going to be doing the countdown for that. we got some exciting things in store for that. And we'll see you guys next week on The Hype. Later.